Hey, it's another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. I am the Goose. Thank you for joining me for another show. Uh, a different topic this time around. Looks like we're headed back to home, home away from home, in the Philippines, here a little bit uh, later this year. So we'll talk about that. But first, got to have a little coffee. As you know, my coffee, very strong, like my opinion, and uh, my dog's opinion, Cooper. Uh, strong like my opinion and uh, got some creamer in there to make it sweet just like me okay this is going to be exciting got the news just last night from my wife Raquel you remember she is from Cebu my uh, Filipino sweetheart uh, been married now going on 20 years my goodness what a lucky woman <laughs> okay I'm the lucky one no doubt about it uh, just got the word that uh, one of her cousins our cousins is going to get married in Cebu in June. So uh, we have not finalized our plans yet, but it looks like we are gonna go. So I am so excited. Uh, last time we were there was 2018. Of course, COVID screwed everything up, like it messed with all of us here the last few years. So uh, that, it looks like they've kind of eased on the uh, uh, restrictions for visiting the Philippines, thank God. And the election will be over. Uh, thank God for that, too. That'll be in uh, in May. So uh, we're excited uh, going back uh, in June and uh, got a lot of things we're looking forward to. Uh, so I'll just go right down the list of things we're excited about as we head back to Cebu. Um, first of all, the warm weather. OK, it's warm and I love warm, humid weather. Not now. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the brownouts in the middle of the night with uh, if you don't have air conditioning, that's not good. But we'll. I think we'll take care of that. And when I say warm, it's warm in the Philippines. It's not just the weather. It's the atmosphere. It's the culture. Uh, you guys know this. And if you haven't been to the Philippines, uh, you should go and, or meet some Filipinas. You'll understand what I mean. Uh, there are, they are the most welcoming, uh, most joyful, smartest, toughest people you'll ever meet. And uh, going there is, um, uh, you know, it makes it a lot easier. You're not under that stress uh, like you would be uh, going to other countries. So it's the warm atmosphere and the warm weather that we're looking forward to in the Philippines. Of course, looking forward to swimming, not just in the ocean, but in the, uh, in the pools as well. That's going to be a great uh, stress reliever for my old body. Also, I want to play hoops. You can almost play hoops every day of the week there. Uh, so I'm excited to do that and maybe keep up with those guys who are uh, playing with flip flops and running circles around me. It's always a fun uh, a fun time on the basketball court in the Philippines. Uh, of course, seeing the family. Uh, I miss you guys very much. Uh, and uh, you know, um, uh, there's nothing like family. You know, we, uh, we uh, are always excited to visit with you guys. And uh, we're also excited to uh, see our new house or what is becoming our new retirement home. We broke ground on that uh, on my birthday, no less, this year uh, or la last year. Yeah, it takes a while to do this. Uh, and uh, maybe it will be completed enough to where we can actually stay there when we're uh, visiting in June. Uh, we're in the process now of putting the roof on. Uh, and, uh, you know, they had a typhoon here on couple of months ago where, oh my goodness, a lot of people suffered. Thousands and thousands of homes lost their roofs due to the, to the high winds, so we didn't have a roof to lose. So uh, looking forward to getting the home, uh, you know, one step closer to completion. And uh, we won't just have a roof and a nice new house, but we'll have uh, central air and running water. So that will be a, a nice little uh, bit of comfort to look forward to. Uh, of course, we're looking forward to the good food. Uh, my father-in-law, Roberto, uh, great, and my uh, sister-in-law, Sally, uh, great cooks. They, they whip up some wonderful breakfast, some good omelets. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. Uh, I miss the, uh, you know, the um, uh, uh, Lichon Manuk, Lichon Baboy, all that stuff. And, of course, Julie's Bake Shop. The baked goods in the Philippines are like none other in the world. Now, I know what you're thinking if you're a Filipino and you live, uh, if you're staying now uh, in another country here, in, for example, in the U.S., well, we got pandasol here. No, we don't. No, we don't. It's, it's not the same. You guys know that. Uh, either, uh, and those of you who make it yourself, good for you. That's, that's yummy stuff. But it's not the same. 
And if you go to Seafood City, like in Chicago or out in the uh, the West Coast in uh, in the Los Angeles area, it's Pandasol, yeah, but it's not the same thing. You have to go to the Philippines to get the real deal. And Julie's Bake Shop has the best in the world, in my opinion. I load up on that stuff every morning and, and eat it like there's no tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, uh, uh, maybe some new stuff as far as uh, the uh, diet is concerned. And I will follow through on my promise uh, to have balloon for the first time. Haven't done it yet, I'll admit. Uh, I'll man up this time and, and we'll do it on video too. And maybe I'll, even though I'm not a drinker, I'll have a, a sip or two of uh, San Miguel to wash it down. So we'll have balloon this time too. Um, you know, the whole atmosphere in the Philippines, you know this. It, you know, it's, yes, they're hardworking people. You guys are. You want the best for your family. You strive for the best life you can possibly get. But at the same time, it's not like, it's not a dog-eat-dog, -dog, get-out-of-my-way atmosphere like it can be in other countries and in the big cities where, you know, you're being cut off in traffic, you're being elbowed to the side, they're talking about your mom. There's none of that in the Philippines, or not much of it anyhow. So it'll be nice to get into that relaxing, uh, hey, you know, do your own thing atmosphere. I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, different activities, maybe a couple. We've done a lot of crazy, uh, exciting things already in my many trips to the Philippines. Of course, going to the uh, the wedding, that will be very, very special. Uh, of course, Raquel and I had our second wedding in Cebu about, uh, what was that, 14, 13 years ago in a, a church that is now 220, 230 years old. Beautiful. And I'm sure that's where this uh, wedding will take place as well. A joyful occasion, and we're um, looking forward to that very much. Uh, and maybe we will uh, take the time, if we're there long enough, to head back over to Bohol. Uh, been there before, of course. It's it's great. And it's the home of uh, the newest Filipino world champion, Mark Maxayo. Uh, he was nice enough to grant us an interview after his victory here not too long ago. Great guy, very gracious. And uh, maybe, I, actually, I told him this during the interview, we'll head to Bohol and visit his dad's bakery, his bake shop, and, and have a bite there. And maybe if Mark is there, we'll, uh, we'll do a one-on-one -on -one interview him, uh, with him in person. That'll be exciting. And if we're uh, in the uh, process of interviewing world champion boxers, there's a couple of others who live in the Philippines. Isn't it funny? They're all from the Visayan, uh, including uh, Rene Cuarto. Uh, we'll look him up and uh, John Real Casimiro as well. Uh, of course, Manny Pacquiao uh, being in Mindanao, uh, down in General Santos City, now that the election's done and there's uh, not the uh, craziness surrounding a, a fight. Who knows, maybe there is another fight on the horizon for him. Uh, we'll try and look him up. Um, so uh, lots of stuff to look forward to as we head back to the Philippines. Again, it looks like it's going to happen in June as a cousin is getting ready for a wedding. And this is uh, one of the many wonderful things about Filipino culture, and we have it here all the time whenever friends get together. Uh, there's no such thing as a small, quiet little Filipino get-together. It just, it doesn't happen. Uh, it's a big to-do, a big event, and no bigger than weddings. We, uh, you know, our experience uh, in... Um, in Cebu back in 2009 was fantastic. Uh, uh, very, very special. And I'm sure we'll see uh, nothing uh, nothing uh, less than spectacular when we go through that again in June. So looking forward to seeing the family, uh, eating the food, experiencing the culture and the warm weather. And uh, it's going to be a great time. Looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions of things we uh, uh, might do when we're there. And uh, if you have any comments on uh, what uh, my plans are, well, let me know. Love to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, we have the uh, the best viewers in the YouTube universe, there's no doubt about it, and the smartest, no question. So uh, let me know what you have to think, all right? That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. So glad you joined me again. Uh, with the number uh, of viewers and uh, the number of subscribers keeps growing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And i uh, love to have you on our team. All right. Again, let me know what you have to think. I love reading the comments and responding to some of them. That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose.
Uh, real pleasure chatting with you guys again. You take care.